right guys, welcome to the Gentleman's Auto. Today we're gonna look at our brand new, less than 24 hours old, 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan SE. So this is the brand new redesigned model. We had just picked it up from the dealer late last night. Um, we've been on the search, my fiance and I, for a new car for over a year now, going back and forth. Uh, we were over miles by a lot on an older lease and we were able to make this work with this car the dealership went above and beyond um and you know there were some tough negotiations but we made it work this is a great new car uh and we're excited i mean this is a this is a beautiful looking car um this is a complete redesign from the 2017 and older models and uh this color is exclusive to this car i believe it's beautiful it's a white silver metallic um, and really from every angle, it's stunning. I mean, it's got similarities of a beautiful German car all, all over it. So um, let's start with just the side profile. Those 17 inch wheels are stunning. Uh, I think they look good. I mean, look, I'm coming from a 2018 Audi S4. My wheels are 19 inch. It's a different animal, but this is for an SUV of this size, it looks really good. And, um, and then you have your front uh, fascia is redesigned. Um, you still have halogen lights until you upgrade to the SEL, which is their third tier higher end model of this car. So there's three tiers, the S, the SE, the SEL. So this is the mid tier, the SE, um, pretty fully loaded. There's, there's some nice options. Um, so Danielle, my fiance is with me here. I'm gonna have her talk a little bit about the car and her feelings, and then we'll start, uh, we'll take a look at the rest of the exterior and the interior. So first things first, um, the VW got rid of their Touareg. So the 2018 Tiguan is now a midsize um, in between the Tiguan, the 2017 Tiguan and the 2017 Touareg. Um, you've got three rows if you want. Um, the third row is an extra $500. Um, honestly, coming from a Jetta to a Tiguan, I love it. I love being high up. Um, the color is amazing. Uh, the only thing I would change is I would put a uh, sunroof into the SE, which is not an option at the moment. Yeah, so that brings up a good point. So the sunroof is actually standard only on the SEL. Um, there's no way to get that panoramic roof on the S or the SE, which was a little disappointing. I think that's really the only thing that we were really missing out on. Um, but we felt that uh, for what we're getting and, and everything else taken into account, this is a brand new car. We understood they didn't have a lot of models in their lot. I mean. This car came into their lot five days ago. There's, and we're here in South Florida. There's not a lot of these cars on South Florida Volkswagen dealers today. Now I want to take a, another look at the back here. Um, completely redesigned back. You only get power liftgate on the SEL. Here it's just a standard trunk up and down. You have your rear view camera. You have your Tiguan SE logo. And then your exhaust pipes are just for aesthetics. The exhaust actually come out from the bottom, which is okay. I mean, this isn't a sports car. Uh, the Audi S4 is a sports car. So, you know, we kind of have both the best worlds. Um, this is a really good size car. I mean, we don't have kids. We're not planning on having kids this time around on this car. Um, you know, 25 years old, you know, we're getting married in a couple months. Uh, this is a great size car for travel or going to Disney for the weekend or, you know, what have you. Um, groceries, Costco, this and that. This is a great size car. Why don't we look at the trunk? Uh, let's start from the back and then, and then move our way up. So go ahead and open that trunk is obviously like this. I haven't found that you can open it from the driver's seat. Uh, that's something that yeah, it's something we're still searching for. The, uh, Jetta, but you know, it's an S also my first F SUV. So um, ignore our uh, our Starbucks. But um, this you is know, a big trunk. Yeah. So it, it came with this net, which is really cool. I love these nets. Uh, you have your grocery hooks on the side, one on each side. Um, you have cup holders in the back. Now, why would you have cup holders in the back, Danielle? Why don't you tell them why? We don't have them pull it off. So we have a third row, like I said, it's a five hundred dollar option. Um, I'm gonna keep it down because I want more of the trunk space, and I don't have anyone else to bring in this car but me. Um, and there's that third row here that's folded down right now. Um, we can show you in a little bit what that looks like. Um, but you know, it's pretty awesome that they have that. The way to get into the third row is to put the middle seat down in the second row and you can climb on back or leave one of them down and push it up. And sure. that's what that's another thing that's cool about the second row, which we'll show you in a second, is you can move it back in front. 
Yeah, so, so you can. You can move the, the second row, the main row, the uh, and, and forwards and backwards. So the third row here, you can sit two more. It's a seven-seater. It's pretty cool, but we're never going to use that. So we leave it down. We have the net. This is a full trunk, uh, lots of room, and then you can put those the middle row directly all the way down, and, and then you really have a lot of space. I mean, you can load it up. We're moving next year, so this is perfect. Uh, this is um, an addition that came with our car as well, your safety kit. So there's a, there's a ton of stuff going on this in here. The, yeah, this is the road. Side, the road uh, side. Why don't we show them? Kit. Got all that in so there. So this is an extra, I believe, a hundred something, and they just kind of threw it in. There was no big deal. Your front but, frame, uh, so that you got there. Yep. Um, something good about this car too is it's an affordable car. It was a uh, thirty thousand dollars, and you could drive this as an Uber Lux um, because you have seven seats. So this sure. is something to think about um, if you are, you know, thinking of an, being an Uber driver and you want to get the extra money. This would be great for an Uber Lux. Not that we Uber, <laughs> but it's just we do. Something you know, it's such a about. popular thing. A lot of people ask us about it, so it's something just it's good to note. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so let's go go jump in the front now. Sure. You've got the keyless entry. So you put, I'm just learning this, I've never had a keyless entry. So it's touch to lock and inside to open. Perfect. And there's a setting inside where you can set all the doors to unlock when you put your hand in or just your door, depending on what you want. So I'll hop on in. Very comfortable, very, comfortable. very roomy. Leatherette seats. Um, It's nice. It definitely nice. is. I love the steering wheel. It's a flat bottom, very similar to the S4, right? So I'm going to make those comparisons because same family of cars here. Um, really nice. And then you have your multimedia settings all yeah. over the steering wheel, your your bright your uh, brights and um, reflector, which is uh, is not really used by people in Florida here. Um, your auto lights. So that's something important to note. And then you also have an extra compartment here for some Tic Tacs. <laughs> and um, and let's see what else. So I'm gonna, and then let's just take a quick look here. You have your speakers. Nice door trim, right? Everything's really well made. I mean, again, this is a VW. It's it's not a Japanese car, it's German. So it feels really well made. I'm gonna jump in the passenger seat and we'll continue to take a look. All right, so let's take a look at the interior here. So uh, to start, um, you know, like I was saying earlier, the, the steering wheel and the center console, really beautiful. There's a lot of technology. Um, you have your push to start. That's standard on the SE trim. Your, your gear lever, all leatherette here. It's really nice. Your auto start stop, your park, electronic park, your, of course, uh, cup holders. Germans are really well with those. Uh, said no one ever. And, uh, and you have your big tray here. Uh, for extra things. Now, what's really interesting, what makes this car so special is this infotainment system. This is an 8-inch screen, um, and it's really great. So why don't we uh, take a look at Apple CarPlay, which is really what makes it special. So if you hit this button, um, and your phone is connected um, through USB, as it is down here, you can have this Apple CarPlay, which is gorgeous. It's all touch screen, and you can have different apps, music, phone, text messages, maps, so, so what's interesting is that on the SE, if you don't opt for that technology navigation package, um, which you, you can either opt for in the SE, if they have it on the lot, or an SEL, which has its standard, um, you still get your navigation, you still get your music, your Siri, Satellite XM, like all these things, um, Siri, and uh, it's, it's really, really, really cool. So um, let's take a look at a couple different functions. Danielle, why don't you show us sure. uh, a little bit about how it works? So I'm getting used to this because I came from a very base Jetta. Um, so I know that if you click here for radio, you've got the Sirius XM, um, and then you can change your channel list like this. So let's say you want to, to save 80s on 8. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down, and then you're just going to click 11. You want as your 11th channel. So now let's say you want to go to your save channels. You have 18 of them. You just click here, whatever you want to do. So it's a really nice amount that you can save on the Sirius XM. Um, let's say you wanted to go to FM radio. You just click here and go to FM and, F and AM. So you've got all that as well. Um, if I just want to go ahead and make a phone call, I can say uh, find whoever and call them. There is a way to do your favorites. I haven't learned that yet, but there's some way to add that. Yeah, so something I want to point out, um, which is interesting. So there's three different operating systems going on in this car. And as you can tell, it does get very sm smudgy 
um, because it is a touch screen, you only see that in direct sunlight. Um, so we're always gonna keep a microfiber cloth in the car just to quickly wipe it off. Um, and when you're not in sunlight, you don't really see those uh, smudges. But one thing I do wanna point out is if you go ahead and hit app, it'll bring you to Apple CarPlay at any point in time, and then you have your phone and your music and your text and all that. But if you go to the phone section in the car, it's gonna tell you that to disconnect the Apple CarPlay first. So a little tip that I always give people is connect your phone through Bluetooth, make sure it's synced up. If you don't plug in your phone to use Apple CarPlay, it will automatically allow you to use the phone system, operating system, and, and media, and all of those functionality, whereas normally those will get disconnected when you're using Apple CarPlay. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, it's one or the other, and you like we prefer Apple CarPlay all the time, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I also wanna point out, uh, it has this bar here that you can't see. So for instance, uh, a really good way to show this is you have all these settings on the bottom. And then when you go and you put your hand over, these settings will pop up. So if, you, if we leave it alone for a second, everything put, goes down, you put your hand over it and the settings pop up. I think that's really intuitive. I think that's really cool. And it's an easy way to give you different functionality depending on whether your hand is there or not. Okay, so we wanna continue finish going through all the different settings here so we can show you what this car has to offer. So of course you have your radio, and then you have these touch buttons across the side which will uh, navigate you to that app right away. So we, we, we talked a little bit about this. So um, you have your Sirius XM, you have some settings here that you can go through and you pick, pick different things. Sirius XM is standard um, for- Three months. Three months, correct. And then after that, you can go ahead and pick a package um, and do as you please with that. Uh, we prefer it, I think it's great. Um, you have your media, which again, won't work if you're um, using Apple CarPlay. Uh, and then you can tap Apple CarPlay here, or you can tap the app, and that'll bring you to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, Auto if you have that. Images, you can look through pictures. If you can put um, an SD card uh, or a CD with pictures, so you have your multimedia, uh, settings there. Glove box, nice size. Uh, we're not complaining with the glove box. Uh, here's your manual and everything for the car. Um, so, so glove box definitely a good size. Um, a lot of room. Uh, a lot of storage down here. Well. Yeah, there is. There's also a net um, that goes over here. That's some nice storage. Uh, storage down here. Storage over here. Storage in here. Storage up here. There's a lot of storage. It's really great. And then of course she's got her own set of storage. Yep. That we looked at earlier um so again so that the sd card uh lives in here and then you can go ahead and you hit car and then i'll show you different settings as well um that you have going on you're always going to have time uh your mute or volume and your you know degrees of how hot it is now it's it's definitely hotter than the 89 um here in south florida today so um you can take a look at the different settings you can uh do a vehicle setting setup so you can go through the tires, your lights, your activation system. Something cool that we didn't talk about earlier was that you do have, um, let's see where it is. I believe it would be in your assistance settings. So you have front assist uh, forward collision warning. And what that does is if there's a car in front of you and you're too close and it stops short, your car will also stop and warn you as well. And that warning comes up in that middle gauge right, uh, right in the bottom. Where the miles are. As soon as you're too close to a car, it'll have a car, an exclamation point, and a car, and it'll let you know that you're too close to the car in front of you on the highway or anywhere you are. So that's really neat. Um, you can do different parking and maneuver settings here, rear traffic alert, your open and close, your instrument cluster. You can pick a whole different, you know, category settings here. It's pretty cool. Um, you have your sound settings. These are the standard system uh, sound that comes in this car. It's really good for, for standard sound. There's no complaints in that department at all. Um, it's a big upgrade from, a, I would say, a Jetta S, absolutely. Another thing to keep in mind is this is the middle trim. There is a higher trim than this, and then there's a lower trim than this. So there's the S, the SE, and then the SEL. Um, again, like how we said, the one thing that we don't like is that there is no sunroof. Um, so that would come in the SEL. The S does not have it. I'm guessing that in the 2019 they'll have a sunroof, but we don't know that for sure. Um, one thing I like is that it's very clean. Um, I don't like wood 
and I like the way that the silver looks with the black and you know the black interior another thing to keep in mind with this car is it comes in a gray interior um, so you can get these in a light gray and that's pretty awesome um, comes with heated seats as well um, you know with this 90 degree weather we do not need it but uh, hopefully in the winter we'll have one cold day that's around 60 degrees that we can put these heated seats on um, honestly to tell you I love this car um, I really did not want another VW and my fiance was like let's go let's just look at the 2018 we did and I fell in love um, it's awesome it really is okay guys so let's take a look at the uh, rear two seats here so why don't we show them how it can um, go forwards and backwards there's that bar I believe it's right under that seat yeah it's right here so you can bring it up or back and oh There you go. And then so they're very stiff because it is new. And so what's interesting that I just noticed is those two seats move separately of this seat. So you can move them forwards and backwards and then you really just get a ton of room. Um, and then these fold down. You can push these down all the way, um, get rid of this, and uh, you really just have a ton of room. So again, you have your third row. Um, if you had one put more people in the car, um, we don't have a need for that at the moment. You do have a USB cable here for charging. You have the 12 volt. There's the back. Some storage. This car has a lot of storage um, and places for car seats, which is awesome too. So you have the two car seats. Down here, more cup holders. Cup holders. And that's about it. Two lights. So that's really it guys. I mean, we just really wanted to give you some impressions on this car. Overall, um, Danielle, what do you feel? How, how do you like it? I love it, I do. Um, I definitely love having an SUV uh, other than a sedan. You know, I like having extra storage. I love the trunk. Um, I don't really have the need for the third, for the third um, row, but it's nice to have, you know? Pick up some people if I need friends coming in bachelorette weekend that's about it it's a great car it's fun it's safe and it's 184 horsepower which is coming from 115 on the jetta uh, it's definitely uh upgrade i think it's beautiful guys it really is so if you have questions leave them in the comments section um let us know what your thoughts are this is a brand new car uh, i'm sure a lot of people are going to have questions you can get a look here a little bit by the lights they're not great, I gotta say, but they're they're okay. They do the job. They do the job. Really nice car, otherwise. Thank you guys for checking us out, and we'll talk to you soon. Make sure to subscribe!